Last 12 months our main focus was on R&D roadmap and uh, in the beginning it started like almost like a side project, it didn't seem to be that much important, but later as the road mapping uh, was getting more and more uh, attention uh, in our team, uh, we realized that it's really important to have a big picture understanding of the entire air landscape, to understand where we want to go, why we actually want to go there, and so on. So uh, that's uh, where we basically refocused and uh, started to work mainly on, on the roadmap. And I would say that it's our greatest achievement and I'm really satisfied with what we achieved during this last year. General Artificial Intelligence is a software program that is able to learn and acquire new abilities in the same manner as we humans do. And as humans, it will be able to uh, learn some skills, uh, some heuristics and transfer them to be able to solve to a completely new problem. The way we see Artificial General Intelligence is that this AI will be acquiring, uh, accumulating skills in a recursive and self-improving manner, which means that uh, every newly acquired skill will uh, be like a stepping stone for a more and more efficient acquisition of the next skill in the future. And uh, the skills already acquired will help the AI to acquire new skills again more and more efficiently. We want to publish two versions of the roadmap and the framework, one for scientific community and one for general public. But both of them should be written in a comprehensible manner, should be easy to understand. Our roadmap and framework are still in experimental uh, version or phase and uh, they will stay like that probably for many years. But uh, we decided to publish them uh, anyway because we need to get in discussion with other researchers. But it's still uh, it's important to emphasize that they are like an alpha version of a program or early access or something like that. Uh, recently we got an idea about establishing an AI Roadmap Institute and it's just a, still just an idea and, uh, but it looks very interesting because basically it's about uh, creating an independent institute that will map or create some kind of visual summary map or roadmap of all other AGI uh, roadmaps and uh, in this uh, summarized uh, visual roadmap uh, researchers will be able to combine, compare study, measure, benchmark, other roadmaps and uh, also solutions to these roadmaps. So basically the institute would focus on two things. One will be just uh, make a summary of open problems in an order as they will go towards AGI and then also make a summary or make a map of proposed solutions to these open problems. So the Roadmap Institute is an initiative that we're thinking of creating where we collect and study all of the various roadmaps which have been published so far. So the thing about AI research is that it's the amount of research published has increased exponentially over the past few years and so there's a lot of places where the research is, we don't know where to fit it into the roadmap. Um, and the Institute is there to collect all these roadmaps together and also point out where they are the same, where they're different. So the Institute is concerned with the big picture thinking and we invite all researchers and people who want to publish their own roadmaps to come and contribute to the Institute. The mission of Good AI is to develop general artificial intelligence as fast as possible and use it to help humanity and better understand the universe. General artificial intelligence can be seen as a system which exhibits a lot of skills and those skills can be um, for example, ability to detect faces or recognize faces, but also some more abstract skills like uh, ability to detect uh, temporal patterns, for example. And uh, some of those skills will be hard-coded, co hard but most of them will be learned. Uh, the way we view intelligence, uh, uh, it's an angle that we are using for studying the intelligence, is that for us it's a tool uh, for searching for solutions to problems. So we are kind of thinking about it like a search problem and uh, basically the thing is that when you are searching for something you can either search it by brute force and really uh, go and explore the entire uh, search space and uh, look for every possible solution or you can use some tricks, some shortcuts, some heuristics, some approximations to narrow or restrict this uh, search space. And in our opinion, or the way we see it, is that intelligence is using few mechanics how to, how to do this. 
Uh, one is that it's a gradually acquiring skills, which means that uh, when it encounters a new problem, it already, already has a repertoire of existing uh, problem solutions that it can use, recombine, and so on, or it can invent new solutions. And then also uh, there are these heuristics, which means that the intelligence is finding some approximations how to, uh, how to reduce uh, the search space or the places where it needs to search for the right solutions. And all these things combined together uh, are the basis of how we understand intelligence. And of course, the actual AGI, artificial general intelligence, will be about having probably hundreds or thousands of skills that help the AGI uh, narrow the space and find the solutions very fast. So from a mathematical point of view, uh, any solution uh, can be expressed or described as a search and uh, optimization problem. And the goal of intelligence or agent is to uh, narrow or restrict the search space as much as possible to um, somehow uh, find the solution effic efficiently. Uh, yeah, skill is uh, assumption about the problem. Uh, you can see it as a solution of the problem. You can call it heuristic or goal. And uh, uh, why we use it is because it's hard to train agent from start, from end to end, like at once. So we have some sub-problems. We can use skills to solve the sub-problems, like how to read, how to write, how to use the memory. And during time, agent learns some of them and improves the stuff that was hard-coded. And yeah, he improves during the time and learn. At the end, he will learn everything end to end. But at the beginning, it's separated and hard-coded. So uh, we expect the AI to be able to learn and of course some skills will be hard-coded, the AI will be born with them, uh, but the others will be learned and we will uh, teach the AI those skills in a gradual and guided way in a school for AI that we are now developing. And okay, so what's the school for AI? First, we need to create an optimized set of learning tasks that we also call a curriculum. And the curriculum will be used uh, for teaching the agent uh, the useful skills that it doesn't have to find out on its own. Without the curriculum, the agent would have to explore areas that uh, society and evolution explored before already. And uh, it would have to explore areas that we know perhaps are not useful or are even outright dangerous. So it would waste time. A good curriculum should satisfy a few objectives. Uh, firstly, it's, it should minimize the time needed for an AI to reach the target state from which, from which it will be able to learn on its own. Secondly, it should minimize the number of skills which need to be hard-coded inside the AI. And thirdly, it should minimize the effort needed for the creation of the curriculum. So as you can see, the creation of the curriculum itself is an optimization problem. So if you have some complicated problem to solve, it is good to start by decomposing into smaller problems, which are more manageable. And the same applies for learning. Basically, instead of trying to learn some, something complicated from scratch, it is better to learn some smaller, easier skills, and then use this knowledge to, to solve more complicated tasks. So the framework allows us to unify all the ideas and thoughts that we have about how to build intelligent machines. It also allows us to define the principles that we believe are important in defining intelligence. And um, it also provides us with a set of tools that allows us to analyze, compare, and benchmark all the different skills and abilities that um, our agent needs to possess. So let me tell you a little bit uh, about the team structure. So what we have here at Good AI is uh, basically three groups, uh, brain group, school group and software engineering group. And the brain group are the guys who are implementing the hard-coded skills. And they're working on implementations to solutions of uh, research topics, mostly focusing on growing topologies, modular networks and uh, the reuse of skills. Uh, so the second group is the school group and it is studying uh, the the skills that the AI needs to learn and designing learning tasks for efficient education of AI. 
and uh, also they are working on the R&D roadmap, uh, mapping various curricula for artificial intelligence into this roadmap. And of course these will be the guys who will be uh, training uh, the learned skills. And uh, the third group that we have are the software engineers and now they're building our Arnold simulator. We're building uh, Arnold Simulator to be a software platform for rapid prototyping of AI systems which are based on highly dynamic neural network topologies. We want it to be high performing and uh, from the beginning we aim for scalability to large computer clusters. It will also provide visual and interactive tools for our research. To put it all together, uh, in last year we have spent really a lot of work on roadmap and the framework. Uh, we are still focusing on the long term, you know, like we still think it's a 10 plus year uh, project. We are still focusing only on general AI, not narrow AI, although we believe that there might be some uh, short-term commercialization ideas or some low-hanging fruits in the future, but it's not the main thing that we are doing here. Uh, and uh, we also realized that uh, gradual accumulation of skills is the, one of the main things that we need to solve. And uh, because it precedes uh, all the other skills that the AI will uh, have to acquire. Uh, stay tuned, we'll publish the roadmap and the framework very soon.